this is Ryan with Airtight and this video is to show the install of a line stop in an existing operating system. Uh, what you're looking at now are the flanges that are required for that line stop install and these are not typical 8 inch flanges, they actually have stops built in them to hold the uh, completion plug in place for when they remove the line stop apparatus that it won't be open to the atmosphere. Uh, where these are gone are on the T on the vertical runs coming out of the building. Below that T is the location of where these flanges are going to be installed and that's where the line stop will take place. The reason they're being installed is because there's no isolation on the main line to these branch runs uh, prior to the butterfly valves on the dry cores. So if there was a rupture in the pipe or a uh, you know, a, a break on the um, auto fence or something along those lines, there's no way to isolate this side of the system from the building and you can actually lose the building. So what we're going to do is install the line stop and then below that put two 8 inch butterfly valves in to isolate this side of the system from the building. This is Ryan with Airtight, uh, and what you're looking at now are the flanges that we had installed a couple weeks back, uh, just some prelim work that we did to, uh, to be able to actually do the line stop today. So what you'll see on the video today uh, will be the line stop being installed and uh, the 8-inch uh, the butterfly valves installed below these flanges to isolate that side of the system. doing now is putting a uh, gate valve on the flanges so we can uh, mount that to the flanges and then uh, mount the line stop apparatus to the valve. Got the drill rig mounted on the gate valve, and they're uh, we'll use that to, uh, to penetrate the existing uh, water line. Then valve that off, remove the drill rig, and then put the line stop apparatus on the valve. They're installing the second gate valve. We've got the return um, has been tapped into and valved off. They just removed the uh, the, uh, the drilling rig to make the cut, and it is now valved off. And they're going to bring the the line stop apparatus over to connect it to and go ahead and stop off this side, the return side on the right. They're bringing the line stop apparatus over now to connect to the return side to go ahead and. Uh, put a line stop on that side.
This is the return coupon that was taken out. The inside of the pipe looks fairly clean and that will obviously help on the, uh, the line stop sealing when it's installed. They're attaching the, uh, the drill rig on the supply side now and we'll just uh, do the same as they did on the return. Mount it to the valve, penetrate the pipe, and valve that off to remove the uh, the drill rig and put the line stop apparatus on this side. Right now we're cutting into the supply side. They just completed uh, cutting the, uh, the hole on the supply side. Now they're removing the drill rig. They're bringing their last uh, line stop apparatus in to set on the uh, supply side. Bolt it down and then they'll be able to run both of them in and actually seal off the system. All right there. They just removed the spool piece for the uh, 8 inch butterfly valve to go in on the supply. Get that installed and we'll do the same for the return. Installing the 8 inch butterfly valve. Both the 8-inch butterfly valves are put in place and uh, we're welding them out now. Right now we're retracting the line stop to be able to valve off the line stop apparatus and remove it and then uh, install the completion plugs. They're removing the line stop apparatus now and they'll, uh, they'll bring the the drilling rig actually doubles for the drilling and the uh, install of the line stop. So they're going to bring the drilling rig in with the line stop installed in the end of it and then set it in place with the drilling rig. This is the drilling rig that has the uh, completion plug mounted in the end of it and they'll use that to set the completion plug in place to seal off the system from the atmosphere. This is the completion plug installed in the flange. Uh, I'll show you the whole process on the next one, but basically what it was was the gate valve was here. Uh, they, they attached the drilling rig to the gate valve, set the completion plug. Underneath these cap screws are some set screws that actually hold that in place. There's a groove, uh, like a recess, all the way around the complete completion plug that holds it in place after you run the, uh, the set screws in place. This is the completion plug holder that will come off. Uh, they just needed to have that uh, installed on the completion plug to actually set it in place. Now we're installing the blind flange. This is what the uh, finished product will look like. Um, they've already removed the completion plug holder, which basically is this piece that attached to the uh, drilling rig. Um, this O-ring will get installed on the completion plug in this, the, the largest groove on the bottom and uh, then get set in place. But that's, uh, the blind flange is the, the last step of the process. Alan's installing the completion plug on the end of the drilling rig. the 
uh, rubber o-ring on it to seal it when it gets put in place. There's also a check valve thrown into that piece of plug, and what that does is neutralizes the, or I guess it equalizes the pressure uh, between the, the system and the, uh, the drilling rig, and that allows it to, uh, to be installed. All right, he's setting the uh, the holders for the piece plug now. Running the uh, set screws in. All right, Alan's setting the piece plug in place now. All right, they're removing the drilling rig, and they'll be removing the gate valve next, and then we'll get a good shot of the uh, piece plug installed. They just removed the gate valve, and there's your complete plug. Still, this is the finished product. We've got the two 8-inch butterfly valves installed. We're able to isolate that side of the system now. Uh, the line planes are installed where the line stop took place. The job is complete.